Okay, we're on Highway 341. Mr. Cash Pond, Larry's is behind us. You got Super 8 Motel over there. And I'm gonna show you how to get to the Pickrick uh, Acid Plant. You go, you turn off here, off 340, like you can go to I-95. By Bobcat. By Bobcat. Right up there, it's a rental place. You'll see it right there. And you turn like you're going to I-95. I-95 is up there, you turn. But you, instead of going on I-95 south, you go straight. <coughs> and then you see the giant smokestack up there. When you see the giant smokestack, you keep going forward. You keep going forward. Today I'm at the corner of Butler Drive and West Howard Drive. It's over here uh, where the uh, uh, Pickard Acid Plant is. You come over here and you park over here in front of this speed limit sign down here. And you go into the trail there. On 341, there's 341 and I 95, West Glendale Circle, over here by where that big smokestack is, over there by the Honda place. And you park here, and you'll see the ruins there. And then there's a trail right here. The sign, speed limit sign says 35 miles an hour. There's a trail right beside it. You can see it and go in there. Be careful walking back. There's a lot, but there's a lot of ruins back there for you to see. We're up here by the old gun powder factory from World War One. This is one of the towers left over from the gun powder factory from World War One. We're going to show you some of the ruins as well. Um, how exactly is that tower standing up with a giant? Crack I don't know. It's been through hurricanes and everything. You see the top up here where it's, it's got like a giant crack in it. Yeah, this tower is one of the part of the factory that made gun powder during World War One. This is the ruins from the gun powder factory from World War One. See it? Probably see the soldiers. Nah, there wasn't any soldiers. Look up here. Look, this looks like a bridge. Check this out. Look at that. See how they, you, this is part of the factory. It stopped because World War I ended. Yeah, there's a tire in the tree. See how it looks in there? Yeah. It's creepy. This is the trail that goes to the uh, ruins through here. And look at this concrete, the way it's built. This is built from the First World War. I think they built it right before the war ended, and they just abandoned it. It was this whole area where Highland Park is. Look at that, Noah. See that? The structure is, I'm not sure, it looks like a, a system for moving stuff. Look under here. That's pretty cool. Got plenty of graffiti out here. You see it gets taller. See it out there? How tall this gets? See the structures out that way? All the way down to this way? There's another foundation over here. I'm looking. Structure, look at it, it's like a pool. That's so weird. Another structure over this way? See how it goes over that way? Just everywhere out here. I didn't I'd never been in this part of it before. You got this other structure, it looks like some kind of vat. You got concrete goes around. Then you got this thing. That's really awesome. Don't want to fall in there. Don't know how deep that is. Look at that. Really cool. And there's another view. See Noah's over there. But this is huge. This is just one part of it. it. Used to go way over there where that neighborhood is, all the way over to Highland Park. This is really awesome right here. It's over this far too. The foundation comes way over here. See it? And see the. This is the second one that I saw. Try to stay on the dry ground. There's a lot out here. You got to come see this. It's really awesome. See that? You don't get to see a creepy pool every day like that. These things still built, 100 years old and still got not that rusted. Here's more of these vats. Again, foundation. Finish it, the war ended and there was no need for it. They just stopped making it. And there I saw. Where? Right there. Here's a cool ladder. We're gonna try to go up and see what's out there. I don't suggest it. It's pretty sturdy. Hold it. Really Hold it for me, though. This is on top of the whatever this is, the structure. You see, it goes higher 
and higher. So I'm gonna get back down. Okay, well, this is the tower from the gunpowder factory from World War One. Check it out, it's got that hole in it. This whole area over here used to be the whole factory. This whole neighborhood over here and everything used to be the gunpowder factory. See how they used to build this? Thing's over a hundred years old. Look at that big hole in there. It looks like it's still really well built. But the top's like crumbled off. What do you think, Noah, about that? I can't really see up there. That's, is it something I fall on you? See, this is the uh, another look at around it. This thing's over 100 years old and it's still stayed in through hurricanes, all kinds of stuff. This is the door. What would a white wind in that door, Noah? Keep, keep, look out for me. See that hole? It's probably where they used to stick stuff in there and cook it or heat it up or whatever they used to do. But this cool tower is over here at the gunpowder plant, the abandoned gunpowder plant from World War I. This is okay. That's another part of the gunpowder factory right there. What's left of it over here in Highland Park? Check it out. See that? It's hot. I don't outside. know what they used to make in there, but it's pretty... this is where I was told these little squares here is supposed to be the entrance to the tunnels that went to uh, Turtle River back in the day. All these were like entrances to tunnels, and then you could tell this used to be a structure right here. You can see the foundation goes around that way let's take a closer look but this is supposed to be the entrance to the tunnels what I was told so we're gonna take a closer look at these all these are supposed to be entrances to tunnels that went all the way to Turtle River I don't know what they use them for but this is what they look like until it goes all the way over here there's also more foundations this way more buildings that go over here we're gonna go take a look at. See it over there. Let's look at this. This is the other columns that look like a bridge over here. See how it goes down? It's really deep, you could tell it goes back that way where the other one was. But this is all these structures out here were buildings at one time or about to be. Okay, this is another structure right here. This is another one that's believed to be a tunnel entrance. This always has water in it, so I believe this is one of the tunnels that go to the uh, the Turtle River. Always got water in it. Really cool. And this is the view of the other structure. It looks like a bridge. You see that bar is hanging down. No, you got it. Keep... Okay, this is another view of this entrance to the tunnel. This they said this is the entrance to the, one of the tunnels. It's always got water, and every time I come out here, it's water, so this must be to the river. And there's some more over here. These other squares. See that? And it goes down real low. And there's another concrete structure over here. These might be tunnels, too. They sealed them up. They sealed these tunnels up a long time ago. People won't go in them be too dangerous though I guess this is where they were you can see all the growth over here from over time see I got another foundation down here too see how it looks Walking over here to look at this other side. See that? That's probably one of the entrances too. See how low that land is there? And these are supposed to be other entrances to the tunnels. What they say? They go all the way over here. There's a little river over there. Okay, we're over here by the where the Picret plant ruins. Here's another one of these squares. It probably has another entrance to the tunnels, and there's several of them down that way. I was on the other side of it, and we're looking at this part over here, the far side of this structure. You can see that. Got a little river over there, I guess, for drainage they put. But you can see the ruins on this side. Okay, here's another, another foundation we found, really big one. We're going to go see what's on the other side of this over here. I'm going to step down from this area right here. I'm out here at the Pickard plant over here off uh, Butler Drive. Look at this. This is some of the ruins. You can tell how it goes down. Some of the uh, other structures they had. 
and this pile here. You can tell stuff went inside there. I'm going to go over here and check out these areas over this way. Really cool. But that's pretty cool. You can see it over here. It goes in the woods over there. And there's another structure that looks like a bridge. Used to be a building. And when, look at this wall that goes all the way down. This is another structure in there. It goes all the way down this way. It goes around the whole perimeter to these tall ones over here. I'm going to go over here. Up on the hill like this. You see that? That's really cool. Hey, look. I found some of the filters from the acid, from the picric acid plant. See that? All these are the filters they use in the processing of their stuff. See these? These are filters they use in the process of the plant. Really cool. My friend had a bunch of these in his yard. He dug them out of these woods over here. See, here's what one looks like. Pretty cool. Made out of concrete. They're just scattered all over the place out here. Like they just threw them down and left them. You can see them all over the place out here. Just scattered around everywhere. See? They kind of got a gold color to them. Everywhere. Here's some more of these uh, filters. It's like somebody just threw them out here. This other structure out here, a big wall out in the middle of the woods. I want to see what's on the other side of it. But I got to find a way to get across this ditch over here. As you can see, it comes all the way over here. If I can get on that side, I can jump across that way. But it's a pretty high wall. It's about six feet tall. And we gotta get across this little dank river. Look at that. That's pretty cool. We're out here in the woods at the Pickard plant off Butler Drive, trying to figure out how to get across this ditch. I think we found a way. We're gonna try to use our adventurous spirit to get across this this little uh, swamp river right here thing. I try to do it right there and come across here and jump across there to get in there. Okay, we're over here on the other side of the wall. Taking a look at this side of it. This is still here. I don't think a lot of people know about this part. See, it goes all the way down, down that way. We're gonna go try to get in there this way. You'll watch. See, it's also on this side too. You can see it. We're gonna take a look over here on this build up to see if we can get in there. This is pretty cool. See how it's still built, it's over a hundred years old. And this is like really well built. So we've got a high spot. We're gonna to try to get in there, look in there and see what's inside there. See, this is what's inside that area. There's more of these structures, like a pit. You can see it all the way down. I'm going to pan slowly. This inside that wall is like a square. You can see it all the way around. And there's more stuff down that way. Okay, this is more of the area. It's inside that square, the hidden part. Nobody knows where it is. Just more of those structures. We've got a wall that goes all the way down. This is what left of the Pickard plant from 1917, 1918. It's really cool. This is probably the least discovered area over here. But this is really cool. Got those bricks, this foundation stones that go all the way down to that yard down there. This is cool. I just wanted, always wanted to know what was inside here. It goes to the street. You can see it from the street also. Another look at the wall that's over further over, about 100 feet over. It's got a big crack in it. But this is the wall, so rectangle area. It's really huge. And it goes, you know, it's really well built. You can tell it's over 100 years old and still got very well done. We're gonna try to cross this and get back over. One last look at the wall. It's over from the other ruins by about 100 feet over. And on the inside, just more of that same stuff, like the, uh, the, the foundations, the pilings and stuff like that. We're gonna try to head out about this road and cut back. Also a big dish right here. Has it got any water in it? This is a view on the outside. About, this is uh, Butler Drive. And this is another look at the, the wall on the, on the other side where we just were. It's just a big building. Out here is from the Pickard plant. 
the outer wall of the area we were where the uh, all the structures are part of the picket plant we're over here on this is Butler Drive but this is the uh, some of the structures from the outside this is the second set of them further down and there's some further down this way the bigger ones are down here these are the shorter uh, what I was told is part of a building and this is part of the uh, the foundation of the plant this plant was huge it went over to where Windix is and over there where Glendale Elementary is and over where Highland Park is it was a huge plant it took up a lot of this area out here and this is more of the uh, ruins over here they got a ladder no you want to climb up there no. you think that foundation will hold you up there but this is some of the graffiti they put up there somebody put a new one up there take a look at this foundation these uh, pieces of steel sticking out it's interesting they should wonder what they went to what it connected to and all that over here the picker gun plant the Pickrit plant, out here at the Pickrit plant.